Hi, today we're going to try and solve one of the biggest issues that we had with the Manfrotto style RC2 quick release base using 3D printing. So let's see what we have done. As we've mentioned several years ago on our rather popular RC2 versus Arca Swiss video, we use the Manfrotto style RC2 system for most of our daily work, both for our cameras and for many larger accessories. While the RC2 system is not ideal for heavier loads, it does work extremely well for us with light to medium loads. It does have one major flaw which has been bugging us and quite a few other users for years. The base of the RC2 system is not flat and the tiny secondary lock protrudes about 5mm from the rest of the base. This means that you can't connect it directly to a flat object like the top of our Mix Pre 3 recorder where we like to connect our camera when we are shooting on a tripod. In the past we tried all sorts of fixes including washers and all sorts of attachments and connectors but didn't found anything simple and practical that didn't twist. Recently we came across a possible solution on the 3D printed website Thingverse which was designed to give the necessary space for the RC2 base. Since we don't have a 3D printer yet, we ordered 3 copies of this design printed from the Thingverse site, about $17 including shipping, and got them a few weeks ago. The prints themselves were fine but we immediately realized that the design itself was flawed. The RC2 base has holes and the design is flat, apart from some tiny pins which do not seem to align with the holes and seem to be unnecessary and may be used for structural support for the print. There was also no way of connecting the base to the 3D part and the hole in the middle has no threads so you could not connect it to anything unless you were using a long quarter inch 20 or 3816 screw which isn't always possible. The retracting screw on our Mix 3 3 for example is very short and can't be replaced. So we went into our shop to try and fix these issues. First we removed the 4 small pins and sanded the base to make it nice and flat. Next we moved on to fix the threads issue. We used our speed tap to make a 3816 thread. You don't need to pre-drill this hole, just use the tap on the existing hole but be 100% sure you're drilling at 90 degree angle. We just got it slightly off, which isn't ideal at all. If you want a good strong connection, you should use a brass 3816 to quarter inch 20 adapter. You can take the one from the RC2 base itself or use another one. These cost just under $1, so they're not expensive. The problem is that the adapter is deeper than the 3D printed part, another design flaw, so we needed to make a countersink so that a wider part will sit inside the 3D printed part and only the narrow side will come out into the RC2 base. Just make sure you don't over drill it like we did. We chose a dual method for connecting the 3D printed part to the RC2 base. We use Sugru, a form of moldable glue which hardens after 24 hours to fill the RC2 base holes and prevent movement as well as super glue on every part of the base which touches the 3D printed part. It is possible that the super glue is enough and we suggest using more Sugru than we did, at least 2 units or even 3, which can be a bit expensive. Again, a better 3D design would have prevented this. We also used a bit of super glue on the brass 3816 to quarter inch 20 adapter to fix it inside. This limits us to using only quarter inch 20 with a base, but this is fine for most times when we actually need a flat base. Finally, we use a clamp to hold it down securely while the Sugru hardens for 24 hours. The resulting piece came out pretty solid and seems to work exactly as we hoped it would. So this was our first experience with 3D printing useful photography accessories. We also have a request. If you're handy when it comes to 3D printing, take the original design that we have used here and try and improve it. Make it just a few millimeters thicker for the adapter, add some plastic pins in the right places so using Sugru will not be needed and if possible add a 3816 threaded hole in the center with a countersink. We have actually talked to Manfrotto about this as well as to a few other manufacturers asking them to make a flat based version of the RC2 quick release system or at the very least provide a low cost metal add-on that you can buy and attach to your existing RC2 base and make it flat. 
and we're still hoping that one of them will pick up the glove. If you also want to see this, please write to us in the comments. It will help us sell this to the manufacturers. So that was our look at giving the RC2 quick release a flat base using 3D printing. You can check out the full article on lensbait.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this. See you next time.